Willen, the drunken tourist, is back in Mexico. For the first time, we're staying in Cancun because we've always listened to the media bullshit, the scary and stuff and the crime. But we're here tonight. We love. We're loving it so far. We're at the Sun Palace. We're going to show you all the restaurants, all the pools, as we always do. Every resort we feature. We don't miss a trick. You know that. We're going to the Thai restaurant, which is right behind me. There, you see it up there. It's gonna be some great Thai. The Thai rolls? Is that dumplings? Yes, like a dumpling. Okay, awesome. The spicy tuna, pad thai, um, Singapore noodles, ishigayaki. Choice is Merkel. Good choice, good choice. They brought us some really hot spots and they said be very, very, very careful. And I'm gonna put this in there to marinate it. Yes. Oh, look at that. I didn't have fun. But this shit is off the chain. It is. The flavors abounding. We paired it with a Sauvignon Blanc from wherever, but having a great time, Mark. We're very impressed so far. First night eating here at the Sun Bow. The Thai restaurant, I give it a 10 out of 10. There were some really good meals there. And the it was, they were really good. The service was excellent. I thought the flavors were amazing. I have never had DT drink white wine and he likes the white wine, which is shocking. So they have a fumé blanc, which he likes, which is really good to offset the spiciness of Thai food. We'll just give you a quick tour of the room. It's my pillow guy. We got a my pillow. I love my pillow. He's We're gonna take you out to the balcony. Uh, you can see a room behind us. Yes. A Mexican coffee infused with some molasses, cinnamon, pineapple. In Coco cities, it's made with some tequila or any alcohol. Oh, that's really good. Our first morning here at uh, the Sun Palace. Last night we had an amazing meal, Thai food. Now we're here at Fuego, which is typically a meat place at night and a breakfast place in the morning. But the salmon they just uh, carved up for us is spectacular. Mucho bueno. Well, that's very good. Oh, that looks lovely. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Oh, muchas gracias. So, we are just walking back from Fuego. Fuego. Highly recommendario. Breakfast was fantastic. Just so you, uh, just so you can see, you do have to wear your mask in the hallways here. Shout out to Eric at the front desk, the supervisor. We had a room and we overlooked uh, the air conditioning down below. It was super loud. Ruido is what 
be saying Spanish. So he was kind enough to move us to another room, a drunken tourist and drunk tourist wife. So we're gonna give you a quick tour while it's empty here. This HGTV, you gotta have the double sinks. You got two beautiful sinks, ambient lighting. You turn around, you got a beautiful shower. You got the rain shower here and the pressure is fantastical. Immaculate. The toilet, you don't wanna see the toilet. Separate room though. You got a king bed, it's beautiful. And again, you've got the ambient lighting on the nightstands. Now this is where, this is where I think they fall a little short. They've got a jacuzzi cub, tub right in the middle of the room. Wow, this would be perfect to have a couch, love seat, and a TV on there. Now, maybe some of the younger folks still use these. But it's a little bit of a novelty, right? Table here. See, this is the only sitting area in the room because the jacuzzi takes up half the room. You come over here. You got a little area to, for your booze. You've got the fridge stocked with beer. Now, if you leave a good tip the first day and leave a little note saying you what you'd like to have in the fridge, they will stock it for you. Then you've got your liquor, vodka. Is that whiskey? Rum. Rum. Oh, White rum. rum and tequila. That must be. And then a bad bottle of wine. Got a fairly spacious balcony. You got two chairs, table, and then you got the million dollar view. We got Isaac to my right. He's got a big bag of hair down his chin, right? <laughs> and that is so hot. We're having a good time here in Mexico. Drunken tourists, he's for real. We love this guy. Okay, so this is what you do. You have two different buttons right here. You have one that says privacy, and then there's one that says makeup room. So if I have it on privacy, you open the door, it says privacy. And then if I change it to makeup room, it becomes a green light, meaning that they can come in. But just outside the door, you turn right from Sun Palace, and you can find the Prada de Autobus, the bus stop, which is gonna take us downtown, so we'll, yeah, maybe we'll shoot a little footage. I don't wanna freak anybody out. They have a nice, beautiful pool, a gorgeous view, and there's there's four people up here. It's gorgeous. Like, look at the beautiful beds and everything. Like, wow. Será muy egoísta ti desearte el mal. Yeah, conmigo a la buena y la mala pa él. Yeah, yeah. Soy como turista visitando el mar yeah. Te veo con otro ojos lo que no hacía Lo que sea contigo Aunque tú me veas solo como amigo yeah. No solo quiero pa' eso yeah. No solamente pa' el sexo yeah. Lo que sea contigo Aunque tú me veas solo como amigo 
bourbon pork belly, roasted suckling pig, braised lamb shank, barbecue baby back ribs, spit roasted pecana, chateau sirloin, suggested for two, so it's like a chateau brand. So they have a sir sirloin medallions, uh, petite filet, flat iron, and then you can get a 31 ounce porterhouse for $44, or a cowboy steak for $36, 21 ounce. Eat tataki, salmon. Oh, okay. That so, so far the entradas were batting a thousand negatively. Well, appetizers and try to the the bread's good. <laughs> That's all we got so far. We you saw what we tried uh, five different things. The oysters. Uh, we took a whiff and got a little scared. We didn't want to try those. Salmon takanaki. Yeah, we're leaving. Yeah, terrible. We're leaving tomorrow. We don't want to be sick. So both those gave us kind of a queasy feeling. So fuegos thus far. Not doing too well. We've ordered lobster and uh, uh, brisket. brisket, and little DT's wife has ordered uh, baby back ribs. Baby back ribs. So I'll let but you know how that goes. With brisket. You're paying five, six hundred dollars a day. I don't know what we're paying, but I'm telling you, the brisket was fantastic. Okay, I got two beautiful slices of brisket. Lobster. I think he, I didn't think he could screw up lobster, but it was so so. DT's uh, wife's uh, ribs. They call baby pork back, but I think they're fatty beef ribs. But the plantain was good. The bread was good. The brisket was good. We didn't do too well. Fuego is not on my list. I know I'm going to get carved for all the palace lovers out there, but doesn't rate. Doesn't rate. You go in an Airbnb, pay uh, 150 bucks a night, go to a restaurant in Cancun, and do way better. Con los años de los que no tienen nada Cuido, ni a semana todo